if we don't have wind and it's frigid outside, your body still retains the heat that you generate. And that's why you dress warmly to retain that heat. But when the wind is blowing, it blows that heat away from your body so the heat escapes. Uh, wind chill is a phenomenon for living things. Your uh, car engine is not feeling wind chill. Whatever the air temperature is, that is the temperature of your engine. So this is only for not only humans, but also animals as well. So keep that in mind as tomorrow morning temperatures minus 5 with wind chills as cold as 10 below for your four-legged friends. Some emergency kit items. Make sure you have your cell phone charged. Do not run on E today. Have gas in the car. And uh, above all, as we mentioned, have your cell phone ready in case you do break down in the cold. Also, and the cat litter will come in handy in case you're carrying your cat. Oh. There you go. All right. The cat litter would be more for when we have the heavy snow, like what we had on Monday morning when we had to possibly get something to get some traction under our tires. But there you go. All right, a little bit brisk out there this morning, looking at uh, traffic zinging on by in downtown Salem. The roads are pretty good, still some side streets with some compacted ice, so be mindful of that. Temperatures in the low to mid teens in downtown Youngstown. Winds about 5 to 12 miles per hour. Columbiana seems to be the cold spot this morning with not only regards to temperatures, single digits, barely one degree in Selineville. Uh, but also with those 10 to 12 mile an hour winds, our wind chills and as cold as even 15 below right now in Selineville. Uh, forecast today, only heat up into the upper teens. That'll be when the kids are coming home. Don't forget your shades too. You need your sunglasses as well. We're going to see some sun as we get into late morning and early afternoon, but just a frigid Friday for us. All right, Arctic air will be here for today, tonight, tomorrow in the morning hours. And then as high pressure shifts off towards the east, that'll allow this next warm front to lift through. So it won't be as frigid. Saturday night, we drop into the teens instead of minus five. And then we are going to see that brief warm up. Temperatures on Sunday heating up into the mid 20s, and we will see a punch of colder air come through Sunday night. Could squeeze out uh, around an inch of snow Sunday afternoon into the overnight. Looking at snowfall outlook, you can see it's going to be quiet for us today, tonight, tomorrow. But then into Sunday afternoon, uh, you see we do have potential for uh, some snow that could accumulate as we get into early Monday morning. All right, looking ahead, temperatures today, 18 degrees, becoming sunny but cold. Temps tonight drop to minus 5, minus 10 for wind chills. Dangerous cold out there for the overnight. Sunday, there you see our temperatures, mid 20s, snow showers likely in the afternoon. An inch or less snow shower chance into the afternoon on Monday as well. Now it's going to be a little bit warmer on Monday into Tuesday. Temps 33 Tuesday, falling though into the afternoon for another punch of colder air. 20 on Wednesday, upper teens Thursday, and partly sunny skies. And we'll have mostly cloudy skies. A little warmer next Friday.